Hey guys, just a quick update what's going on here at Sub-Zero Labs. Uh, this is an outlet box that I'm constructing. I have a previously used ivory outlet that we uh, saved when we upgraded all the outlets in the house to pure white. So I have a toggle switch here. And if I can zoom in here, there we go. You can see I have a one in thirty two eleven stud mount rectifier. That is a three hundred PIV fifteen amp rectifier on a piece of angle steel that I cut and drilled and inside here is some is a uh, mica washer to insulate it there is a uh, insulator on the stud and another mica washer on the back side of the nut my stud my wires connect to the other side here so all I'm doing is I'm taking the AC voltage coming in, sending it through the rectifier and to the outlet, which provides half the AC voltage going to the outlet when the switch is in the off position. When the switch is in the on position, the outlet gets the full 120 volts AC instead of uh, 60 volts AC RMS from the half-wave rectification of the diode. The reason for that is because I have this general electric kettle. And what I've done here is I've taken some copper fittings and soldered them together, sweat fitted them together. as an end cap here. I took my one quarter MPT thread tap and drilled it out and tapped it and I have a uh, one quarter MPT barbed fitting on the output. If I get in a little closer you'll see that I've just glued it in place here with some marine goop. I'll be putting a neoprene gasket around the edge of the cover and a spring underneath the handle just to push it in place to hold it there although realistically I think it's actually making a pretty good seal just the way it is. I don't think it's going to be a problem, but the real problem is this device is 1500 watts. And when it gets boiling, it gets boiling really fast, which is why I constructed this baby. With this turned on, and I get this up to boiling, I flip the switch, go to half the voltage, which also produces half the RMS current, meaning my 1500 watts drops to 375. At that level, once it's boiling, I should be able to leave it unattended for, for a good long time while it uh, produces stuff. And of course, it's the stuff that I need for the plasma experiments. So I'm going to finish putting this together here and then uh, give it a test go, see how it goes. Thanks. Hey, we have an inner room update. I uh, plugged it in. Uh, to test it out and see if it would reduce the power going to my little lifesaver here, the space heater. Anyway, um, and the insulators on the rectifier didn't. So there is a dead short between the hot wire and the ground. And as soon as I plugged it into my circuit breaker over here, that breaker right there popped, of course. So, pulling it apart, putting in all new insulators. Hopefully, I can create a condition where it's isolated from ground. Um, um, I forgot to mention earlier also that the reason for that bracket mounting to the to the box the way I did, it is mounted with uh, heat sink thermal compound to draw away any excess heat and let the let the box itself be the dissipator or the heat sink for the rectifier. Alright, I want you to see this. 
This is the second time I've disassembled this thing because the uh, mica insulator failed. See that hole right there? Punched a hole right through the mica insulator to ground when I plugged in the AC outlet. That happened twice. And if you look at the The metal bracket, you can see the vaporized metal right out of there. I had to sand. Where is it? There it is. I had to sand the. Uh, or take take my knife and cut the metal that had vaporized and formed a point. I don't know if I'm getting metal chips in there, which is uh, punching through the, the uh, mica insulators, or what, what the hell is going on here. In a minute, I'm going to scrap the whole idea of a heat sink for these things. In the but uh, on a positive note, despite, I'm go despite the fact that it's going into a short circuit, <laughs> this rectifier survives every single time. It's 15 amp continuous, 300 amp surge. No problem. Takes it all day long. All right then. There are now five layers of mica insulation on both sides of this rectifier. If that can't hold back 120 volts AC, I give up really give up. Alright, well, after building it once and rebuilding it three more times, it appears that Murphy has finally decided that I've gone through enough shit for one night and it works as advertised. Uh, in this position, I get full power to the outlets and in this position here, I get uh, half wave rectified DC to the outlet, which is essentially the same as AC. Uh, I get half the RMS voltage, half the RMS current to the load, and that will be the load for this device so that I can create stuff. <laughs>